After you've checked to make sure the data is valid, you should review the diagnostic results. You don't need to be a vibration expert with a Fluke 810. Simply compare the results found in the report with the cited peaks and confirm the fault. At the bottom is a simplified list of the four common faults diagnosed by the 810. In the example report on the upper left, we see extreme compressor bearing wear. From the chart at the bottom, we see that roller bearings have a pattern of non-integer peaks in all directions. The sighted peaks in the upper right show the peaks that the diagnostic engine found above the baseline to support the fault report. From the sighted peaks we see that bearing wear is supported by the non-integer peaks under the order column and the peaks are all in all three directions as we see under the axis column. The fault was found on the compressor free end which is supported by location 4 under the bearing column. And the fault was extreme severity score of 77 which is supported by the high amplitude of the peaks under the vibration amplitude column. This confirms that the results are valid and we do have bad bearings. By watching the severity trend of the fault progressing over time, you'll feel more confident to make repair recommendations. Use the viewer software to export the diagnostic results to Excel. Then you can make your own custom trend graphs in Excel. In this example, we see the motor bearing wear trending very flat for months, and then it ramps up sharply, indicating pending failure and need to be replaced. You should go out to the machine, look, listen, and feel. If you don't see the fault progress over time and don't have other confirming indications of the fault, then suspect other causes, bad data, change in operational conditions, or structural resonances. Look at the vibration coming from other machines, piping or foundation problems. We need to act on the recommendation and not the faults. Don't focus on the moderate motor bearing wear or pump bearing wear, focus on the recommendation. The recommendation says to monitor for increased vibration. We look at these two reports of two machines taken three months apart. Why did the pump bearing wear go away? Low level faults will vary slightly depending on machine operating conditions, other machines in the area, and structural resonances. When the faults grow to serious or extreme, the variation in the fault severity will go away. So we need to look at the recommendations because we'll see the recommendations are the same. So don't trend the vibration levels, track the repair recommendations. Don't focus on the fault severity, focus on is it time to repair the machine or not. After watching the fault go from slight to moderate to serious to extreme, you're now ready to schedule the machine to be torn down for repair. You confirm the diagnostic engine results. Now export this to a PDF report, send it to the planner or manager and generate a work order. After the report repair is complete, use the 810 to check the machine is healthy and repairs are performed correctly.